So today I'm going to be making another video for my how to series. So far I've done how to make a thumbnail, how to make intros on Movie Maker and Sony Vegas and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an intro on Final Cut Pro for all of you Mac users. Now if you do not have Final Cut Pro um, and you don't want to buy it because I know it is quite expensive and not everyone is going to be able to get that you can get the trial and it will last for 30 days and you'll get everything you need and so if you want this just to make an intro or you just want to try it out for 30 days then go to google type in final cut pro trial and it will be this first one at the top and you can download it add all your details and stuff like that and you it won't take any money from your bank account or anything and by the way this video isn't sponsored by final cut pro i just think it's a good program let's get right into it so we're going to start off on MSP, oh by the way this is an MSP intro, this isn't an intro for everyone, but I might be doing a tutorial on how to make intros for other games as well, like, I don't know, Club Penguin on our MSP account, you're going to go to Movie Town, an art book, <coughs> and you're going to make a new art book, and we're going to get a green background by going down here to the shapes one and just getting the green one. Okay, so now at this point you're going to want to pick a theme for your intro. So my theme is going to be a beach theme um, to match my new outfit. So find an outfit that sort of matches the theme you want. And then wear that one on your art book. So like I said, I'm going to wear a beach outfit for this one. Okay, so what you're going to do now is you're going to pick an animation. This can be a moving animation or a still animation. It really doesn't matter. Um, I recommend a moving one, it will make your intro look more lively. So I'm going to pick a dancing one, or like a cute dancing one, which there aren't many of those, so let me try and find one. Okay, I'm going to have this ukulele one, and now what you're going to do is you're going to get QuickTime Player, which comes with most Apple devices, like laptops or like an iMac, um, but I'm using that to film right now. So I'm going to be right back, I'll like be right back, and I'm just going to film. Okay, so I filmed this for about 10 seconds, you're going to want to film it for about like over 7 seconds, because that's how long this intro will approximately be. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to make a background for your, for your intro. So like I said, my theme is going to be a beach theme, so I'm just going to find an image of a beach. Okay, so I'm going to be using this picture. And do keep in mind that a lot of pictures on here are copyrighted, but we are going to be changing them up quite a lot. So, um, I think it'll be fine, <laughs> I hope. So you're going to save this image, um, and I recommend, like, making, like, a folder for your intro, like I have here, and just calling it, like, whatever. So once you've got the image saved, we're going to open up Final Cut Pro Trial. I actually, um have like the thing so I'm not using the trial but if you and if you have Final Cut Pro as well then you can just use that you don't have to use the trial. So what we're going to do is we if we open Final Cut you're going to drag the image into your timeline from your finder thing press OK and you will have it open. Now don't worry if the thing is bad quality because we're going to fix that. What you're going to do is you're going to click on it right here and you're going to click right here where it says transform, it might be on transform, crop, or disport, dis distort, and you're going to go to transform, and you're going to drag it out so that it covers up the entire thing, and there is no, like, black around this bit. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to, because this will probably be gone, we're going to go right here to effects, and you're going to go to blur, and then this one that says guzza guzza gun, and you're going to drag it on, and you can uh, change the amount of blurriness. I recommend like somewhere just around here, so you can still see what's going on. Um, now we're also going to go to light and add on some bokeh. I don't know how you say that. You don't have to add this, um, but it makes it gives it a nice look. Okay, I recommend dragging it out to about six or seven seconds. I think six is a really nice length for an intro and also if you want to zoom in on your timeline or like how you zoom in so you know how you zoom in on google 
like you just drag your fingers apart and then like on the trackpad thing yeah you can also do that on here and it'll help you zoom in and out on the timeline okay so now you have it here <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to add our uh, character and you're going to put it right you're going to cut it right off here right, and to do that you're going to press command b and then you can just delete these by pressing the delete button and now get rid of the sound by you see where this line is yet just drag that right down so now select on your avatar thing, make sure that it's right at the start, not like halfway down. Make sure that your like thing, your like draggy thing is right at the start. Click on this and make sure that it's um, pressed on transform and you're just going to drag this over to one side. doesn't really matter what side, just as long as it's other side. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Kia, or keying, sorry, and drag Kia onto your picture and you can adjust the strength um do whatever and now if you press play it will look like this now what we're going to do is we're going to go to about halfway through the thing and you don't have to like eyeball it you can press the little arrows on your keyboard and you can use these and it will go along frame by frame as you can see right here it's going along frame by frame go exactly halfway so that'll be three for me and you're going to press command b so you have it in two parts. Now on one part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to view here, um, under Kia, this one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, drag over the whole thing and press new compound clip. And then what it will do is it will make it a thingy and it won't have your key on, but you can press this to get back to the Kia. And what and the reason I'm doing this is because then I can add Kia onto it again. Sorry, add Luma Kia onto it again, and it will get rid of the black. So then you'll have this really cool white thing dancing around, and then halfway through it will go back to your regular dancey thing. And so I'm gonna switch from this one to this one, which is transitions. Am I gonna go to blur and? I'm, wait sorry, dissolve, and I'm just going to put cross dissolve onto both of them and then delete it from the start and then it will be like that and yeah it's pretty cool what we're going to do is we're going to again so select all of them just by dragging your cursor along the screen new compound clip so you have a new compound clip like I said and then we're going to go back to here and we're going to go to uh, stylize. And you're going to go down to handheld and you're going to add that on. And then it will start shaking and moving and being cool. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to drag this last one out a little bit. So that I can fulfill the whole thing so but now we're going to add text which is one of my favorite things on this whole program so what we're going to do is we're going to go to here we're going to go to titles and we're going to put the basic title on and um again command b at the end just get rid of the end part and then what we're going to do is we can click on it and we're going to put the size right up and put it about halfway just wherever you want really and find whatever font you want I have fonts downloaded I'm sure there's a video on how to download fonts I'm not going through that that takes quite a while okay I found them so you're gonna write your channel name here um and so my name is Coca Productions if you didn't know and I'm gonna put the sizing down but all you can also do is just do that and um, make sure that it's centered. Now um, go to face. So face will be ticked. If you want to tick it, everything will go. So you're gonna hover over it and press where it says show and fill with, press that and go to, sorry, not texture, gradient. And then press this little arrow thing and then press this color right here and um, now we can change it so I'm gonna pick some tropical colors because it's the beach theme so 
Or you could even have colours matching your out outfit. So that's what I'm actually going to do. Change my mind. So, um... So go to your first colour. And you can press this eyedropper tool. This eyedropper tool. Drag this colour thing along. And then you can use this to select the colours on your outfit. So, you don't have to do this. But I think it's quite cool. Get the eyedropper tool and get the blue from your outfit. And then, your name will be the same colour as the outfit. Now go to outline and tick that. Show. And um, you can drag it out, drag out the width to make it more visible. And I think about five or six is quite a nice size and you can make this black or white um, depending on the theme so I think white looks better and if your outfit's three colours then have the have the outline the third colour of your outfit um, and now we, we can also add handheld onto your name so it would look like this And it's really cool. So if you don't like it just being here the whole time, you can have it dragging in by pressing this button. Oh, don't do that. Pressing that button. Going down. And then it'll magically drag up. You know, if that doesn't happen, you might have to fiddle around with doing it. Um, sometimes it just doesn't like to cooperate and it won't magically drag up like that sometimes you'll have to make it drag up yourself um it's really confusing there are probably videos on how to do it um if you don't like have having it dragging in either um then you can also find other different titles and you can um hover over them to review them and look, so there's this blur one there's um this one that like sort of like feels like that and then you can completely custom it by yourself like and that's pretty much how you make the intro so now to render it um which is what you have to do to put on the start of your videos press this little button right up here master file next um save it in um, a folder for your YouTube channel like as you can see all of my different YouTube channels I have lots of different folders um, down the side so just save it in your um, folder for your YouTube channel and save it as like intro or whatever <laughs> and save and then up here it will show you how much it's rendered and depending on how quick your computer is it will take a quick it'll take or like depending on like how much there is in your intro depending on the length of your intro depending on how slow your computer is it will render pretty quickly or pretty slowly um so let's just wait for that to finish and when it's finished it will automatically open might not you you might have to do that yourself make it automatically open and now you can watch it in all its glory So yeah, like I said, this one's really, really simple. Um, now, if you want to add music before you render it, all you have to do is download some music. I have lots of music downloaded. Um, just find some kind of music. I don't know. On and on, we'll go. Just drag it in from your finder. Which, and it'll be downloaded into your downloads. And you can... Command B um, at some point, drag it to the start, get it here, get rid of the rest, and you can have the music fading out if you want. And all you do all you do to do that, zoom in a little bit, and um, this little dot right here, I can't really know I can't I don't know if you can see that. Um yeah, you can fade audio out and make it as faded out as you want. So let's watch this. <laughs> You can do that. Just render it. It'll be take a little longer to render if you have music. That's fine. 
Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Remember if you make this intro for yourself, remember to sort of change it up, don't make a carbon copy of it. Um, and if you do, remember in the first video you use it, please give me credit, maybe leave a link to the video. You don't have to give me credit in every single one of your videos that you use it. Just remember in the first video you use your intro or if you upload like my new intro, um, remember to like have in the description inspired by Coco Productions. Um, so yeah, thank you. Um, and yeah, I hope this video was helpful to all of you. And I love you all, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.